Welcome to today's top tip to make you a better oscilloscope user. Today we're talking about auto scale. So when you get your new oscilloscope, you're probably going to go on here and immediately click auto setup. And it does a great job and everything, but it doesn't teach you anything about the oscilloscope. So instead, we're going to be manually tuning our oscilloscope to show the full waveform. We're at the default settings at the moment, and if we zoom into the waveform, you can see it's very blocky at the moment. And that's because we're not using the full resolution of the device just yet. So step number one will be to go to your voltage and reduce it until the signal is making the full use of the resolution top to bottom. If we zoom into the waveform now, you can see it's a lot smoother. And that's because we're utilizing more of the full ADC resolution. Now we're going to make full use of the X axis or the time axis. What we're going to do is reduce the time base to make less cycles appear on the screen. We want at least one to two cycles on the screen so we can measure things like resolution or duty cycle. But then we don't want too many where you can't actually extract any data at all. For example, if we increase the time base too much, it doesn't look too bad. And that's how to manually scale your data on an oscilloscope. So give it a go on your own oscilloscope and tune in for the next top tip.